Now coming to the lines which uh, were asked in the INICT and also they are very very favorite hot favorite of the examiner. So first let us look at the blash course lines. Blash course lines these are basically the lines which are not going to be seen on anybody's skin. Normally they are going to be only become apparent in disease conditions and the disease which you must remember related to blash course lines is incontinentia pigmenti. Incontinentia pigmenti that is a disease. And in the, uh, in this, you can remember the Blaschko's lines as the lines or the pathways in which during the embryonic development, the epidermal cells are going to follow. They are going to migrate over the skin, isn't it? And these migratory pathways are going to be seen in the future when there is this any kind of a disease which follows this blash course lines, uh, the disease which you must remember is black incontinentia pigment okay and yes if you look at this picture if you look at this picture there are certain characteristics with the help of which you can identify this blash course lines so if you look at this scalp they are spiral they are spiral they are spiral and these lines they do not cross the midline 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 yes and because they are not crossing the midline they are going to be certain shapes which will develop so anteriorly anteriorly there will be yes shape anteriorly yes shape uh, upper back you are going to have b shape because of these lines and in the limbs they are linear in the limbs they are linear they are linear okay so these are all the points which you must remember and uh, blash course lines how can you remember the uh, anterior part they are going to be s-shaped this blash co is something looking like black isn't it black okay so black uh, superman i hope you all uh, remember this some movie came so with this black uh, superman you can remember yes shape is there so with the help of this, you can remember so many features that the lines do not cross the midline. So I'm trying to put some relation, something by because in the exam, uh, Blaschko Langer's lines, you might get confused. You might get confused and you might answer wrong. So that is that should not happen. So we are going to make some or the other way to uh, remember these things. Okay, remember these things. And one more important negative point which you must remember is these do not correspond to these do not correspond to arteries, veins, nerves, lymphatics, nothing. They do not correspond to anything. They are just epidermal cell migration during embryonic development. That's all. Okay. Now coming to Langer's lens. So there is another. So here we discussed about one superhero. So now we are going to discuss about a villain. So who is this? Who is this villain? So who is this? Yeah, we are going to see about incontinentia pigment at the end. So Lord Thanos. Yeah. So this is Lord Thanos. So Lord Thanos. So Elfer Langer's lines, Elfer Lord. So why am I telling you this? You will understand if you look at the, the pattern. So look at this pattern which you are able to see over the chin. Similar pattern you are able to see in these Langer's lines. Okay. So the other features are okay important, but this you can easily identify and uh, differentiate between blash course lines and this Langer's line. And other features are these lines cross the midline. They, they are going to cross the midline. And what is the importance of uh, these uh, lines is basically they are the lines along which the collagen fibers are going to orient. They are going to orient in the dermis. We know collagen is present in the dermis and the collagen fiber orientation in the dermis corresponds to this Langer's lens. And what is important? So how many students want to become, how many students want to become surgeons or gynecologists, whatever, uh, orthopedicians, whenever you give incision, always try to give an incision parallel to this Langer's lens. So yes, all the... Uh, surgeons uh, would be surgeons please do give some emoji or do uh, put something in the chart section so my request to all of you is put incision along or parallel to this lens because if you do like that you are going to get a cosmetically better wound cosmetically better wound. yes rstl stands for rstl stands for relaxed skin tension lens so in the exam even sometimes instead of langer's lens relaxed skin tension lens might also be given mm -hmm.